going on, fam gang? What's going on, bird gang? Those y'all in the building, you know. Thank you all for joining the NG26101 show. Now, I just want to do this quick update on Bird Martinez. Bird Martinez seems to be doing quite well. Definitely a champion in this one with the tongue sticking out, so you already know. You know, that's a little subliminal message for our fans out there. Like, everything's going to be all right. Um, Mario stated, Today our kids and I were able to visit Erica at the hospital. The kids haven't seen their mom since November the 21st of 2020. People that follow Erica know that she's more active on Snapchat. That Erica likes Snapchat a lot. So Erica told me by using ABC alphabets to record her with her Snapchat. And this is what she did. Doctors said she would never move her right side, but she's pr proving them wrong. Hashtag Bird Martinez. Hashtag Cooking with Bird Martinez. So that's good news right there. Well, shout out to her and her family, man. And God bless the Bird Gangs and Bird Martinez herself. I wasn't going to make any more videos uh, regarding to Bird Martinez, but this is an update. So shout out to the, the Bird Gangs out there for contributing your... Uh, you go for me to burn Martinez's family and help and support that family. And I'm just doing my end just to make sure. Because those of y'all know that, you know, hospital expenses could be crazy, man. Well, Burr Martinez has the support, you know, from a lot of her fans out there and the people who really care about her. And those of y'all who would like to lend a helping hand and support in Burr Martinez and her way to speedy recovery, um... The GoFundMe is in the description below, so if you'd like to, please feel free. We all hope to have Burr Martinez to a speedy recovery and back to doing her cooking special on her channel and back to her reality shows that she does on her other channel. Because I'm also a fan of Bird Martinez too, you know. Even though we haven't talked as much, we've talked. So that's just an established relationship right there. And I personally have talked to her. So, you know, of course you got to get the Goonies on here. They're going to have their saying so, you know, like this guy. Don't you hate it when someone clings to someone else's coattails for their 15 seconds of fame? You barely even know her, and you don't even have the details of the situation, but you're making 30-minute videos about it. Well, you know, that's cool. Well, I guess we're not going to justify the fact that, you know, most of her fans were saying that as well in full details and also it was also in news articles that this is what happened okay the actual brother okay her husband's brother stabbed them both so i don't family even spoke upon it themselves as well so you know mario was stabbed as well as erica so you know but we're i guess we're, we're not going to pay attention to that got this um message and, you know, I, I do look at comments. I always do. I always check comments, you know, and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. But uh, this comment that came on here, you know, says this attack was ordered by her mother-in-law. Now, I don't want to go into speculations and, and getting too deep in the family because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like there's kind of levels of respect to this. You know what I'm saying? And this is just not me disrespecting. This is just me reading. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just feel like I I don't want to touch really on family shit like this, man. Because I don't know how personal, how deep it is. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I know Bird has talked about it many times on her show. Many times. Well, at least that one time, I should say. On her show. But there's been... If you've kept up with the shows, man. You kind of hear the hidden messages and the stuff that she's talked about. With her uh, brother-in-law. How he's crazy. He's got issues. And all that. So listen. As a fan. As a person. Who watched the video. Okay. I got to elaborate on this man. Because it. You know. It, it's really really. It's puzzling man. But this attack was ordered by the mother-in-law. Which is crazy insane as it is. Through her son's hands. The ML. The MIL. Mother-in-law. Has wanted Bird gone or dead for many years. Mario was uh, uh, protecting his wife. I would like to put things into perspective. Con tu permisión. You know, as in, you know, con tu permisión. That way people are getting the real picture 
of what has happened. The mother-in-law of Bird has hated her since day one and has always been angry that her son loves Bird. Was raised in poor family in in the valley. So forgive me if I'm mispronouncing. I know I probably mispronounced that name wrong. But the mother-in-law and her family are from Mexico, Mexico City, because of that, the mother-in-law thinks that her family are better people than Bird. Okay, I've heard about that too. I did hear about that. The mother-in-law has always targeted Bird, treats her poorly. Bird was attacked by the same brother-in-law just a few months ago. She was strangely. So are you kind of saying that the mother-in-law possibly had something to do with the attack? I'm not going to throw a long wrench in this one because it's just my personal opinions just throwing it out there because I know her fans kind of want to know perspectives of things or want to know other people's ideals on things, you know, as a YouTuber. And this is just me just kind of just voicing my opinions on it because it's, it's a very intriguing story. And I like to talk about things like this, you know, that has an impact on people's lives. Um, she was strangled in the same home. That's what this person's saying. The brother-in-law has been in jail ever since the attack. The brother-in-law was ordered not to return to the family home after his release. However, the mother-in-law posted a video on Facebook stating that while her and her family were on a business trip, the mother-in-law told people, a person they know mutual, mutually that Bird would never be, I mean, we'll be, I'm sorry, not my focus, Bird would never be famous. And will always do exactly what the mom-in-law, mother-in-law tells Bird to do. This kind of comment shows the mindset of the mother-in-law. I and mean, here's the support, GoFundMe, same thing I have on my page. But listen, man, this is a really crazy twisted story. So I don't want to go too, too deep into the thing, you know, to the investigation. But, or too much in speculations. But it is kind of true. But I'm going to say this. I don't know if I want to. See, this is really touchy, man. It's a really touchy subject, but it's in the thoughts of everybody's minds, you know, and people who do care about bird and, you know, they want answers. I, I get it. I do, too. But it kind of makes you think to yourself, man, like, you know, did the mother in law really set the attack for the brother-in-law to kill Bern Martinez I don't think I think there's a little bit of a wrench out there but I don't know it's really it's a really sensitive topic because we're talking about family here but this is just a voice of concern for Bird, man and she's stated this many a times in her videos you know like she the fear that she had for you know her brother-in-law but um very interesting I don't know but anyways, guys, um, rate the video, leave your comments. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just throwing a monkey wrench in there. I don't want to make sp too much speculations. I know I sound like I'm going around in circles because I'm really trying to be sensitive about this shit. But um, Mario was stabbed as well as Erica. Family even spoke upon it themselves as well. So, you know. But anyways, guys, um, rate the video, leave your comments. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just throwing a monkey wrench in there. I don't want to make sp too much speculations. I know I sound like I'm going around in circles because I'm really trying to be sensitive about this shit. But um, I don't want to throw things like that on family, man. And throw a little monkey wrench and say, well, that's the mother-in-law's fault. The mother-in-law set this up. Cause, but who knows? I mean, it's a possibility. I don't even know if this stuff is if it's factual. If this stuff is, I mean, has this been on the news? I'm sorry, but I just haven't really been too much in tune with the story until I found out what was going on on her Instagram. So, of her speedy recovery. But I am going to say this, man. Let's give our wishes well to Bird Martinez and a speedy recovery. And hopefully she'll get better very, very soon. Anyways, guys. Thank you all for joining the show.